<laughs> All righty. The Raw Tag Team Championship. Now, we've just seen one set of tag team champions. And we did this, by the way, on the experience this past week where we went through the roster and it took us five minutes to read the list of champions in this company. And some people still say, well, that's different programs. Yeah, you know what? There's different programs when the NFL shows games all over the place also, but they still only have one world champion. Anyway, so the Raw Tag Team Championship was on the line. The Viking Raiders against AJ Styles and his giant, uh, what, personal colossus, Omos, who is almost ready to be on television, but not quite. Um, did you like the clips of the Viking Raiders throwing a fucking axe at like a Renaissance fair to make them really fearsome and, you know, it's cosplay Vikings now. And I like these guys. These were the guys that were war machine, right? Yeah. The tag team before they went there and, and, and ring of honor. Yeah. Yeah. And, and had, a, you know, a goddamn game of Thrones throw up on them. Um, this gimmick is just. And also, it, it just, they rotate. I'm, this is not new. They do it all the time, but I don't know if I've noted it before to speak publicly about it. Why can't they just have a fucking announced team? When these pay-per-views or big events or whatever they call them now, when they actually made millions of dollars, tens of millions of dollars per night, they had one announced team, right? Jim Ross and Jerry Lawler for the majority of them. You knew you you that's why those voices were ingrained in people's consciousness. Now they've got different announced teams for every match on a show. They just bop in and out. Fuck. Anyway, the packages and highlights got out of hand in this first half of the program because especially with the girls match but this one too, we were 45 minutes in this show when the bell rang for the second match. And as I mentioned, War Machine, I thought was a great tag team, but these, they look so fucking, I don't know whether it's cheap or outlaw or goofy or just non-threatening or out of place or comedic, whatever the look is, it, eh, they look like job guys. They've made them look like job guys. And I didn't understand this whole fucking match because again, they, the way that they put it together, they're not trying to make almost the big fearsome fucking heel. They're trying to apparently make him the baby face because they build everything to getting him in to do something. And people kind of like it whenever he does, even though he don't know what the fuck he's doing. Well, they they stopped liking it toward the end of this, but at the start, they were liking it. Uh, but he starts out, he's in for 20 seconds, beats both the baby faces up because the Viking Raiders have to be the baby faces. One would think, then both the Viking Raiders beat up AJ and he sells like a baby face, but then he makes his own comeback. And right then he cold tags almost i'm gonna start calling him almost because it's easier than saying almost almost in edward james almost yes and edward james almost threw aj over the top rope into a hurricane rana on eric on the floor which was impressive as fuck it was all aj plus almost being a giant but now the the most impressive move in the match so far is from the heel team and the people are cheering then eric Cole tags Ivar and he makes a comeback and Ivar is the bigger one with a, I've said this before with a good gimmick and somebody taking him seriously and a push behind him and the stuff that he can do, he could be a, he could me, he could be a money drawing heel that you could then switch baby face because of the things that he can do. But the way to get a guy over like, like that initially is as a heel and take advantage of his size and make him, you know, crush your Blackwell, right? Whatever the fuck. But the, anyway, almost came, got in with Ivar and almost slammed Ivar and the announcers shit their pants. 
disregarding the fact that they had done a spot earlier where fucking Eric, the little Viking, picked Ivar up and slammed him on top of fucking AJ. <laughs> so when the giant slams him later on, is he got him higher up because he was taller, but he's still been slammed five minutes earlier. Uh <sighs> And then they slowed the pace down, and the, the people knew that the Viking Raiders were not going to win this. They could just tell. So therefore, you know, it, it started, bleh, Ivar hot-tagged Eric at one point. I use hot tag in quotation marks, and the, not a fan peeped. It was like dead silence. It was silence before he tagged him, and it was continued silence. Then <laughs> Ivar runs across the ring. And now, and bear in mind, folks, this is the way that I fucking pick shit apart when I'm talking to the fucking boys and we're watching a tape of whatever they've fucking done. If they did something good, I'm going to tell them that. But also, for fuck's sake, how are they trying to build this giant? But Ivar runs across the ring and nails almost with a kind of a shitty punch or forearm and almost jumps off onto the floor and lands on his feet and then stayed from that one forearm standing on the floor outside watching them double team AJ Styles, his partner, and the guy he's supposed to be the bodyguard of. But then AJ, the heel, makes his own comeback again against both the baby faces, fucking sidesteps one to the floor and fucking has the other one in the corner, and then hot tags his heel partner almost. And almost... Ivar has, has hung up on the top turnbuckle, so almost goes over and picks him up off the top turnbuckle so he can press him over his head. That's an impressive thing, this 300-and-something pound guy. He's already up there, right? So, because <laughs> I don't know if I would trust almost with be, having the coordination to get me up over his head if I was 300 something pounds, but he's already up there. So he picks him up and he's got Ivar over his head, but then he doesn't press slam him. He just dropped him face first. It, he already had him up. All he had to do was turn him. My God, you could have a dead body like that and give them a fucking full press slam. They don't have to do anything. So he drops him face first and puts his foot on Ivar's chest and gets a two count and Ivar kicks out. So now, regardless of the lackadaisical nature of the cover, the first cover that the Giant makes in the match is a two count. The guy kicks out because he's not, and he's not even trying to begin with. Did you ever see anybody kick out of a foot to the chest if Andre put it on him? No, the entire way they're using this Giant who looks incredible is ridiculous. And the announcers, the, the stunned silence in the arena. No, it, it, it was silence, but it wasn't stunned. They may have been stunned at what they were seeing like I was, but more like it was disinterest in the arena. So then Ivar tags Eric back to no pop. And then both of them, both the baby faces, made a shitty comeback on the giant almost. And almost, did you see almost selling? They had told him, don't go off your feet. Don't go down. So he was trying to sell and register while still standing up. These guys hitting him wherever they could. And he looked like he was doing the Elaine Bennis dance from an episode of Seinfeld. I thought he was having fucking spasms. <laughs> And then they beat they 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 clotheslined almost out to the floor where he landed on his feet again still hadn't gone off his feet as the announcers were mentioning no he didn't go off his feet he just stood out there while they beat AJ up some more he just instead of being at, even knocked down and unable to come to the rescue of his you know smaller partner he's just standing there watching it on his feet and then after AJ got beat up, he cold tagged almost again and almost staggered in because as he was coming over the fucking top rope, 
one of the Raiders came over and nailed him and he got hung on the goddamn rope for a second. He couldn't get out and he couldn't get in. And then he gets in and then he just grabs Eric by his head and picks him up and drops him it like a the old hanging tree slam like damages brain damage in OVW or or didn't didn't Matt Bloom do that Prince Albert or something the head choke slam double choke slam he just threw the guy down boom one two three this was just fucking rotten and and I don't I mean I, AJ Styles is a great worker in, in any capacity the viking raiders we know that they they were a good tag team once upon a time before they came to this company and got this shitty gimmick but they can do some shit almost obviously needs to be taken back and polished some but who who put this match together i can't answer that and you know again when you look at this giant what mystique is left? What have you not seen? You've seen him take bumps. The You've mystery. Seen yeah, what's left? The mystery is is what he's going to fuck up next. It's going to be funny to laugh at. The, he's starting to get an El Gigante vibe to him. Go ahead. Continue. There's not much else I could add. I'm not a fan of the Viking Raiders. You said you didn't know if they look cheap. I think they look cheap. I don't know how much of that is them, how much of that is costuming. No, it's 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 costume. You know, it's they don't look like Greek gods, neither one of them. So you don't you don't gimmick up plain but rough-looking guys with with funny or goofy outfits because then it just accentuates that they look like some schlub that you've walked in off the street and painted their face or told them to wear funny shit. You, I would assume that these guys are fairly tough to handle in a, in a legitimate conflict. So make them look like two big fucking burly guys that you don't want to fuck with in some fashion or other and treat it seriously. And you can get something out of the big one especially. But I, I... So it doesn't sound like you're enjoying this pay-per-view event so far. Oh! 